So if you're on your Chromebook looking in the Google Play Store for a certain game and you get this error message that your device isn't compatible with this version or the game simply doesn't show up in the search results, don't worry, there's often another way to install and play it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and play Minecraft on your Google Chromebook without the need for the Google Play Store. Let's take a look. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how we can install the Linux beta and then install and play Minecraft on our Chromebooks. So don't worry, you don't need to know anything about Linux to do this. I'm going to link to this web page just for your information. It shows you the Chromebooks before 2019 that supported the Linux beta, or I should say still support it. And if you've got a Chromebook after 2019, you should be able to assume that it will run the Linux beta. So the simplest way to find out is just to get started and try so step one click down in the launcher on the bottom left and just type Linux in and you want to get this result here Linux with the setting icon next to it you click onto that and then you're going to look for this the Linux development environment beta and you're going to click turn on and it's going to bring up this little launcher you can just go ahead and click next it's going to warn you that it's going to take a bit of data of course to do this and on the next screen as well you can just go with the recommended setting so it is going to take up a bit of disk space but just hit install on there and then it's going to start to install linux and this can probably take a few minutes so i'm probably going to just speed up this part of the video Okay, so a few minutes later and it's just finished and what you should be left with is this terminal popping up um, as so. So don't worry about that, you don't need to do anything with it. Um, in fact, you could even just close that down now. So Linux is now turned on, that's great. The next thing you want to do is come back to your web browser and we're going to head over to this address that I'll leave down in the video description below, but it's the Minecraft website and it's all the alternative download links. Okay, the one you're going to look for is minecraft.deb.deb, so click onto that, uh, it's going to download it, you can just click straight onto that, it'll open up your downloads folder, and if you double click on minecraft.deb, it'll bring up the install with Linux prompt, and just go ahead and click install, you'll see down in the bottom right it's now installing, you can just click OK to this message up here that it's started, and within just few short seconds hopefully the install will complete let's see it work its way through and then it should be a case of you're then able to launch it just like any other app from your launcher um, so you'll get an icon for it you'll be able to pin it to your shelf do anything like that uh, let's just wait for this to install yeah there it is so it tells you it's available um, and there may also be an icon in your launcher so you can click launch on here and we should see it's going to fire up for the first time so it's just downloading some update files just the kind of first time run stuff and then we'll be into minecraft and if we actually check by clicking down in the bottom left in the launcher and typing in minecraft you can see that yeah it is there as an app that you can just come into like any others and launch to play so let's give it a second to finish doing its updates and just show you that it has fully installed. If you are liking this video, if it is useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And if you like this sort of content, please do consider a subscribe to the channel. You'll see there's lots of other Chromebook stuff on the channel already and lots of other budget tech and smart finance uh, videos on there. So see what you make of those. But in the meantime, let's just finish this video and prove to you that Minecraft is installed. So let's wait for it just to run through and finish with those updates. And then hopefully it'll just be a case of obviously needing to log in and get going with the game. So almost there. Here we go. Final bits on the updating. You can actually go ahead and delete this DB file as well from your downloads. You won't need that anymore. It's tiny, but you may as well delete that. Let's close downloads and let's see where Minecraft is. Here we go. So you can just go ahead and full screen that. And there we go. Minecraft's installed. Go ahead and log in as you normally would and enjoy the game. Cheers.